All right, if you want to use the mental math strategy that we've been using to solve a problem like 87 minus 18, you would start by choosing one of the two numbers. So I'm going to go with 18, and I'm going to create a number bond. And students should know that 18 has one 10 in it. and it has eight ones. So we would say that part or eight ones plus the part of 110 or 10 equals the whole of 18. I would now, for my next step, cross out what I already have. So I, I used 18 because I'm not going to do it that way. That's a little bit too complicated for my head. So I'm going to also cross it out on my number bond. My next step is to rewrite the problem Oops. Let me see if I can undo that real quick. Let's rewrite the problem. 87. But this time I'm going to subtract 10 instead of trying to do 18. Because 87 minus 10 in my head is a lot easier. And of course, as before, I'm going to cross out the 10 so that I know that I used it. So I have 87 minus 10. And now all I have to do is subtract a 10 rather than 18. So um, if I take one 10 away from 87, I'm left with seven tens. And of course, I didn't do anything to the ones, so I have 77. And I'm also going to make sure I cross out the 10 because I used it in my number bond and I used it here. My last step then, and I'll do that in a different color, is to take the difference I just got from subtracting 10 and I'm going to bring it around because really I'm subtracting 18. I need to also subtract the 8 from my number bond, that other part, because it only took away one part. So now I'm going to rewrite um, the difference I just got from subtracting 87 minus 10, which I just circled and brought around. That's where the green arrow is showing. And I, now I'm going to write 77 minus, and my last part for my number bond is 8. So I'm going to write 77 minus 8 equals, and this is probably the most challenging part, um, seven ones minus eight ones. Well, I can't do that. I have to regroup in my head. So I'll need to borrow from the, um, the tens place, and it's going to give me ten more ones. So really, I have 17 minus eight, which is nine. And since I regrouped, I only have six left in the tens place, so I have 69. So my final answer, I could say, is that 87 minus 18, which I was really trying to solve, is equal to 69. And I can show that the old fashioned way, but remember we're doing this in our heads, so that's the, that's the whole point of this, that I can use the number bond to help me out. And I should be able to get the same answer if I do it this way, which these two numbers are the same. So it works just as well.